Yo, what's good everyone? How's your day going? Uh, just wanted to start this video off by saying I was so wrong about this Apex game. Uh, this game is absolutely awesome. Uh, slight learning curve at the beginning. I don't know why I thought I was exempt from that. I thought I was going to be able to jump right into this and play pretty well just like every other game, every other battle royale. But uh, there's a little learning curve at the beginning, but after about six or seven games, I finally started to get the hang of it. I've been playing as the Bangalore, Bangalore hero. Uh, jet. Been playing as the Bangalore hero. I'm um, level 25. I have 100 in like 50 kills with her. Um, I really like her a lot. You can use the smoke uh, in a few different ways, offensively, defensively. You can get away from people, push on people without them being able to see you. Uh, she's pretty versatile, so you should definitely try her out if you haven't. But uh, anyways, I wanted to go over what in this video what I think is the best gun in the game, and that's the Hemlock. But the Hemlock Burst is it's pretty good, but that thing kicks really hard. Uh, it vertically kicks really high. If you put it on Select Fire and you use the Times 2 scope or the Times 3, I like the Times 2. I think the Times 3 is a little much. But um, as you can see in these clips here, like it just shoots straight like a beam and it hits for 14 damage. I think higher than that to the head. And it's pretty much an uncapped fire rate. Uh, yeah, you can max it out, but if you're shooting any faster than that, um, you're just not going to be accurate with it but just as it is that gun's disgusting um my favorite setup so far is probably that gun and uh the peacekeeper with the barrel choke as a secondary uh that's the charge shotgun and that thing deals big damage up close if you get it charged up all the way and uh your movement with that gun is pretty fast so you can peek and pop on people and just wreck them from behind cover or around the corner or something so that's probably my favorite setup um the hemlock as my primary and then usually the peacekeeper but uh the sub something 99 it takes the yellow ammo that gun destroys as well the only thing about that that sucks is the magazine size is pretty small i think it's 18 so you have to find a mag for that or it doesn't uh it doesn't kill people in one mag like it's pretty annoying they can just get away in the time that you're reloading the past two days i've probably put like eight or nine hours into this game and i'm really liking it i think uh ea did really well making this they made uh one of the easiest to play brs not in the sense that the game is easy but the interface uh the looting the way you interact with your teammates and the uh i guess ping notifications you can send with r1 to your teammates uh freaking superb job it's super easy to communicate with your teammates even if you don't have a mic you can communicate pretty much anything you would need to say uh, in the BR with the R2. Uh, you can press start, even hover over your gun, uh, select an attachment for it that you don't have, and it will announce to your teammates that you're looking for that attachment. If you find a certain gun or certain ammo on the ground, you can tag it for your teammates, let them know where it is. The game itself is just a lot of fun. Uh, the battles are fast paced. It's really easy to close ground on people. Uh, if you hold triangle and you store your weapons away and you're hitting your slides on downhills, you can just fly across the map. So I think I played for about eight or nine hours yesterday. I have probably almost 20 wins now, I want to say. I'm not sure where to check it. I know you can see your stats and you can see your top three finishes and game winning kills that you've got yourself, but I don't think there's a, uh, a first place um, statistic anywhere yet. Let me know if I'm wrong, because uh, that'd be really interesting to see. I kind of just have a mental note of how many uh, dubs I've gotten so far. But overall, just been enjoying the shit out of this game. Uh, I still really love Black Ops 4. I like it a lot, but it's been a little bland lately. They just keep pushing back league play, and they're not putting new stuff into the game. I don't know what they're doing. Um, and I think this game came out, and there's so much to it. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, there's rumors they're going to add a new map, different modes, and a competitive feature, which I'm not sure how that would work, but I would be excited to try that. So it's just something fresh to play at the moment, and uh, it's smooth. I haven't run into any glitches. Sometimes there's, sometimes there's a little bit of lag at the beginning of the game, but uh, it usually smooths up pretty quick. And I haven't really been uh, like cheated or joked by the lag yet. Like it, it seems like when I'm lagging, the guy I'm fighting is experiencing the same amount of lag as me. So we're kind of on an even playing field. But um, let me know what you guys think of this game. If you don't have it, it's free. So just go download it. I think it's like 15 gigs. So it downloads pretty quick depending on how your connection is. But uh, I think I'm going to keep playing this for the time being. 
Let me know if you guys like watching this. Let me know what you want to see out of it. Any more tips or anything. But uh, right now, I think the Hemlock with the, uh, the single fire is the best gun in the game. I don't think a lot of people know that you can put it on single fire and use it like that. But as you can see in these clips here, it shoots like an absolute beam. Um, that's pretty much it for my thoughts on this game so far. I definitely am going to play some more of it. Uh, let me know what you think of this gameplay. Let me know what you think of the game overall. And uh, have a good day. See ya. Champions.